Greetings, friends. Welcome to day 11 of these devotionals. Behind me you see a snowflake, a stocking, and sure enough, there goes Santa. Did you know he was about to appear? No, very likely not. He was what they call now a sudden appearing. Hey, look, there he goes again. Many times throughout our lives, we go just day to day, living our daily lives. We go to work, we come home, go to bed, repeat the same process all over again and again and again. And often, we don't often think about the sudden appearing of Christ when he is going to come back with his holy angels. And also, he will come back like a thief in the night. Suddenly, a sudden appearing, he will arise. Two will be lying down in bed, one will be taken, the other will be left. Two will be in the field, one will be taken, one will be left. People will not really be expecting him, hence like a thief in the night. There goes Santa once again. What about in your life? Are you living in expectation of the sudden appearing of Christ? Though you may not live to the day he comes back to claim his church, there will be a day when he comes back to get you, be it at your death or at the rapture. Live each and every single day in anticipation of the return of the king. Are you in a relationship with him? Are you walking with him? Are you serving him? Are you living for his purposes and not just your own? There he goes again. Do you even know him? If not, let today be the day you repent of your sins and place your faith in Christ once and for all. As Joshua said to the Israelites, I say to you, choose this day whom you will serve while you still have time. Repent of your sins. Place your faith in Christ. Trust in him to save you and to give you salvation because of the work he did on the cross. The punishment you deserve for your sins he took for you. That if you will place your faith in him and confess him as Lord, he will save you. For as it says in Romans 10, 9, if we confess with our mouth, that Jesus is Lord, and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Confessing him as Lord, meaning he is boss, he is king, he is Lord of all. Believing that he rose from the dead, so explanatory. Believing that he rose, and not just simply believing it, but believing in him. There may be a police officer who says, yeah, I'm good all, I'm a great police officer, I can do wonderful things. And you may believe him. But then when it comes to day when he saves your life, you are believing in him. You must believe in Jesus. Believe in him that he can save you and will save you. And once you do this, go forth and serve him in daily expectation of that sudden appearing. Because there will come a day when he comes back to claim his church. He will come back and cry out, mine, 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 as he returns to claim his bride. Live for the king. While I still have time. Because as the song says. Jesus is coming to the town. Stay holy my friends. As the journey continues. Like. Comment. Share. Have a good day.